Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an external drive that's blazing fast. Just the other day I was trying to install Windows onto a new computer and I had to use a thumb drive and it was really slow. And I was like, ah, oh, there's got to be faster thumb drives out there. So I looked and there aren't really. Uh, most thumb drives kind of cap out right around 50 megabytes per second. So I was like, well, what about M.2? M.2 is crazy fast and they've got to have external cases for them now. So that's exactly what I did. Got my hands on a PCI Express NVMe. It's uh, 2,400 megabytes per second. Solid state drive. It's an M.2, so it'll be blazing fast. And then I went ahead and picked up an external case for it. So there are name brands that are already out there that kind of put the two together for you, but there's definitely an upcharge if you buy it that way. I found that $25 for an external closure, and then it was $60 for the M.2 drive. So out the door, $90 versus a lot of the one and two terabyte ones that go anywhere for 150 to over $200. So a lot of the ones I was finding were a lot more. I didn't need one that was gonna be over a terabyte. I just wanted something I could transfer things back and forth really quickly. So 500 gigabytes did it for me. So let's take a look and we'll put this thing together. All right, so first we've got our Western Digital Blue, the SN550. It is a PCI Express, NVMe Express, M.2 drive. These things are a little bit bigger than a stick of gum. And next, uh, this is a TB, TDBT uh, external case. Um, there were a few dozen on Amazon. They all are rated right around 4.4 out of 5. So I went ahead and went with this guy. It looked like it would do the most cooling. And it came with uh, an actual pair of decent USB-C cables. So that's why I went with that guy. So let's take a look at this. Here's our board. It's a uh, thermal compound to go on top of your, it even comes with a screwdriver, that's nice. Uh, this is to, uh, this is a, like a heat dissipator, so that'll go on top of it. Um, End up sticking this to that and then sticking that on top. Uh, looks like it comes with two of those, that's nice. And then got a case front cover, some screws to go with that, some uh, mounting blocks, and uh, screws to hold those down as well. So, and we'll go ahead and get rid of these because we're about to walk through it. All right, so we got all these screws, the front cover. Looks like some kind of padded stickers. All right, so we get this guy out. It's always good to make sure that you don't have any static on you before this, or uh, go ahead and put on like a static armband. So this guy right here, it's gonna slide right in just like that. So you see that's gonna sit in there like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and this just slides in just like that. So you can see they are this, there's only one way to put this in. This is the M side. So you're just gonna kind of slide it in. It sits in place. Now it wants to just kind of rise up. So you'll just hold it down, flip it over and then your screw is going to go in the bottom. All right. Now that's in place. It's not going to go anywhere. Next step, we're going to take it's a, it's a thermal grease pad and you're going to remove 
sticker from one side. Let me just go ahead and stick this on. And then you peel off. There's another layer. Now, just kind of want to get that in place. And this guy's going to go over that. There's four screw holes on it. Same deal, I'm just gonna kind of press it down, flip it over, so line up the screw holes. four in. Let's see in just a second after I got all four of those in. All right, so we got the four screws in. And next what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and add this little foam piece. We're just going to put it on right here. It's going to help so it doesn't shake around so much while it's in the case. So Could be worse, could be better. But next, got this guy right here. There's a little slot right there, and right there. This guy's gonna go on that slot just like this. It's gonna slide in. The little pad makes it so it doesn't shake around. And last but not least. This little guy right here, it's this side up. So throw that on. So there's some little screws left and some big screws. I'm gonna try the little ones first. Don't think that might hold it in place. Let's see. screwdriver is not near as good as my computer kit screwdriver. All right, so we got those uh, last two screws in. Not bad, a little bit smaller than a normal external hard drive, a little bit bigger than a thumb drive. And then, uh, yeah, it's a USB-C, comes with a couple cables. Uh, potential up to 10 gigabits per second read speeds, um, one gigabit per second write speeds. This is probably going to be a little bit slower, but not much. These things are pretty fantastic. So if you're transferring a lot of data, these things are the way to go. They do get hot. That's why there's all the, the thermal compound and the, the radiator and this guy right here, because uh, these things get crazy hot for how much information they're passing through. Thanks again for coming to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, Hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. And I hope to see you back here in my channel seeing more videos just like this.